सो अलाउट मैनी ऑफ यू आर आस्किंग मी टू मेक अ वीडियो रिगार्डिंग स्ट्रैटेजी ऑफ गेट एग्जाम एंड आई वॉज प्लानिंग टू मेक अ वीडियो बट आई थॉट टू मेक अ वीडियो बिफोर दैट बिफोर टेलिंग यू अबाउट द स्ट्रैटेजी एंड ऑल बिकॉज स्ट्रैटेजीज डोंट वर्क अनलेस यू हैव अ प्रॉपर अप्रोच फॉर द एग्जाम एंड प्रॉपर माइंड सेट फॉर द एग्जाम सो दिस वीडियो विल हेल्प अस टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट विथ वॉट माइंड सेट यू शुड एक्चुअली अप्रोच दिस एग्जाम वॉट शुड बी योर प्रॉपर अप्रोच for this particular gate exam because see this exam is very different it's not like csi net exam uh, it's it's little different from that uh, in the csi net exam it's like a rope okay uh, either you are uh, like on the other side of the rope or you are on the on the first side of the rope that means either you have qualified jrf or you have not qualified now whatever rank you qualify with it whether your rank is 50 100 whatever rank of your jrf it is it's not going to matter much okay but here in gate it's not like a rope it's like a staircase every stair is a rank and every rank matters if your rank falls under top 100 you are eligible to go for psu you can apply for that if your rank is under 500 let's say you are eligible to go for top iits you are eligible to go for phd and all and regarding this i have already made a video like um, what are the benefits of gate so that you can watch if you want in the i button i'll give the link of that but yeah what i want to say is this exam is different okay it's not like your csi net exam and that's why your approach towards it should also be different all right so i'm going to tell you that what are the few uh, like mistakes or few uh, you can say that these this should not be your approach for this exam and if you avoid these things i guess you will reach out to the proper path or you will be you will be on the proper track to approach for this particular exam right so for the first thing is that you should have a positive approach for it you should be thinking of you will be able to crack this exam you it is possible to crack this exam because many students before starting their preparation also like let's say if today i am uploading this video it's, it's october month so the students will think that it's already october i have just november december and january 3 months for the exam it's not possible i won't be able to qualify and once if it comes in your mind that it is difficult i won't be able to do it you are not going to do it because once this negative mindset comes in your mind that is going to just destroy everything you won't be able to concentrate on your uh, studies you won't be able to focus whatever you are studying so everything is going to get affected one by one so that's why the first thing is to have a proper or positive approach towards it that yes this is approachable whatever time i have wait two month three months whatever time i have because it's nothing new i'm not doing it from scratch i, am, I was already preparing for csi net exam just the only thing is that i have to mold my preparation a little bit uh, so that it matches with the gate level that's all i have to do right so that should be one thing that that should be the first thing which should be in your mind that yes this is approachable and yes i will be able to do it second thing is that you should not have a uh, approach that okay i'll be just i just have to score 30 marks or i just have to score 20 marks many people ask me that sir i belong to so and so category so what should be the what what marks should i attempt my gate exam should i attempt for 20 marks should i attempt for 30 marks see this this again is a negative mindset this again is a mindset or like which which is going to make it's, it it is going to make it difficult for you okay because you are just trying to escape out of the situation you are not trying to find uh, the solution of it you are not trying to uh, fight for it you are just you are just trying to escape out of it and this is again going to affect your performance if you are just going to attempt the exam for 30 marks let's let's say you belong to unreserved category and uh, you you know that okay the cut off goes somewhere around 30 35 marks so in the exam if i attempt for 30 marks i will be fine like i will be okay with it i will be able to qualify it with 30 marks let's say that year the cut off went a little higher or let's say that uh, you are uh, like you did paper for 35 marks but you got some negative marks and your marks just got lower than that in that case you won't be able to qualify and in that case even let's assume that you qualify by the margin that qualification is not going to help much because your rank will be somewhere around 4000 5000 something like that so again that is not going to help okay so these two negative mindset should not come in your mind that uh, first thing is that you should not think that this exam is not approachable i won't be able to do it second thing is that uh, you should not think of certain target some small target that okay i will do this much and i will be able to qualify no that is not going to happen all right so avoid these two things and these two things uh, can make everything worse whatever strategy or whatever you apply if these two things are there in your mind that is just going to affect you okay the third important thing is that now now what i am going to telling you is little practical thing okay see 
whatever you see a particular topper or someone who has qualified this exam with a good rank top 10 rank or top, top 50 rank whatever rank they have got just uh, just see their interviews or just w see what they are telling about their preparation and all you will never hear that i have just studied this 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 topic i have just done uh, organic and i have just done inorganic or i have just done organic and inorganic they will never say like that they would have given their best for it okay and that's what a topper attitude is you cannot uh, like you cannot find out ways or you cannot find out shortcuts to qualify the exam see any good or any any success not good or bad any success which comes in your life it all comes when you are going to do some hard work for it okay especially in these competitive exam because these are like every one of you whosoever has filled this form everyone is preparing for it everyone is trying to give their best and if in that race you are not giving your best or let's say you are you are just taking out few topics out of it and you are just trying to okay fine these topics are enough and i will be able to qualify that is not going to happen i'm not telling you to study each and everything i'm not telling you to complete the entire syllabus but what i'm trying to tell you is at least try to give your best whatever topic you are good at whether you are good at organic inorganic and if let's say there are some topics from physical chemistry which you can do then try to include them in your preparation try to maximize the number of topics or try to maximize the number of concepts which you are going to take in the exam don't limit yourself because at the end of the day it's competition among you all okay so if someone from you only has studied a little bit more from you uh, more than you in that case that person is going to get a get better rank he will be able to do questions over there right so these were certain things certain you can say certain points uh, regarding the proper mindset and regarding something which you have to uh, basically do before the preparation or before starting the strategy and all all right so these were certain points which uh, i wanted to discuss because i have seen students going through all these uh, things in their mind regarding preparation and all so this is something which i just wanted to convey before making a video on preparation strategy and all so i'll be coming up with a video in which i'll discuss about the strategy for the exam strategy means i'll talk about what are the things which you have to take care about so that thing that thing will be done in an elaborated way in a different video earlier i thought to include it in this itself but uh, i think that will make this video very long that's why we'll 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 divide it in two parts so in the next video i'll discuss about what exact strategy you should take for the exam and we'll also talk about the time uh, you know timeline that at what time you should uh, prepare at what portion or uh, what time is necessary for what thing to be done okay so that's how we will discuss about the strategy for the exam that's it from my side for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one till then have a great hey day guys Bye. so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes you have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much